Hey yo, did the shorts cover? No? <laughs> what we talking about? Yo, um, I see uh, a lot of uh, fighting going on, which is understandable because shorts ain't fucking covered. I mean, there's so much crime, manipulation, lying, stealing, robbing. The Fed talking about, oh, uh, we know, we know we got robbed, but see, you can look up to Nobel Peace Prizes. What, motherfucker? Man, get the fuck out of here, man. Hey, you better go pop some tops, Federal Reserve, before somebody else come around. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, uh, I'm, I'm just going to address the elephant in the room. You know, a lot of people are questionable about Adam Aaron and his position and, and running this situation. And, you know, some people that, you know, are familiar and, and I'm going to I'm going to give a credit to both of you guys because here's here's the reason why and I'm going to give credit to both you guys okay because I feel like uh you know yeah there there should be more things done right you know there should be more gangster shit happening we should I mean bro I I'm I've been sitting here telling you right now boy I've been ready to uh what's up <laughs> what's up you ain't, bro listen <laughs> I ain't afraid to go and handle that shit. You feel me? However, this shit out of my hands. But as far as my thoughts, you know, yes, the CEO should be able to do more. He should be able to say certain things, do certain things. I get that. However, maybe this is his tactic that he's trying to do. Maybe he's trying, maybe he has a, a I don't know, an element of surprise for some of us, right? Some of you are like, yeah, I, he got a surprise for us, all right? It, it, listen, you, it, it's like this, and I'm going to talk directly to you guys. If you're in this play, okay, and you don't trust the CEO, you don't go to the movies, you ain't spending no money at the movies, you ain't doing none of that shit, you just buying the shares... Just understand that fundamentally, AMC is gonna be lacking a little bit because your money, okay? You, I mean, you can you can do what you want. However, you put all your money into just the market. That's on you, okay? Now, to the rest of us who you know we got in, we understood not only we like to stop shit. It, the CEO keeps the bitch pumping, fine, fuck it. He ain't got the fucking dance and wiggle here and there. All right, fine, fuck it. Let this shit fucking warp and fucking do whatever the fuck it does. However, I know what position I'm in. And I know how many FTDs are sliding up under my shit. So I ain't selling. So, <laughs> you know, in my mind... I see, you know, everyone's super emotional, including me. I'm emotional. Shit, what the fuck? You think I ain't emotional, bro? I'm like, you know, what the fuck is going on? But I'm cool because I know what position I'm in. I'm, I, I understand this play, you know, and, and, and see, here's the thing. When many of us, we get on Twitter, we get on YouTube, we get on Facebook, t TikTok, Telling our friends, telling our family. Think about what you're telling them. You're telling them, hey, I've made a life choice to get into a play. Okay? I made a choice to get into a play. And I want you to know about it because I'm willing to hold this thing until whenever. Now it's time to eat that shit. It's time to eat it. Like I ate it. Welcome to the club. <laughs> So, that's the way you got to look at this. You made a decision to say, hey, okay, I see with my own eyes, I understand what is going on. I understand we're being manipulated. I understand these banks need to make money. But see, here's the thing. Some of us just haven't done enough because remember, when AMC first started, 
everybody's just chart watching, just watching chart, hoping win moon, win Lambo. Some people are first time investors. They see just this, the, and some people are still there, just looking at the chart and just, it's supposed to have been happen, right? No, there was something in elephant in the room called the fucking thieves behind the scenes that I learned early on. I say, well, what the fuck? Okay, well, since they fucked up and they got to keep doing this, I'm just going to hold. So, the thing is this. It's been, it's, this has been going on two years. Everybody knows. They're going to kick the can. They're going to kick the can. They're going to kick the can. When you say that, right? Oh, these guys just kicked the can forever, right? Yeah, you can kick the can. You can kick the can forever, but at what cost? And when it came down to it, if you're looking at numbers and you're looking at at a rate that they're stealing at, they're willing to cost everything. They're willing to they're willing to, to, to pay for everything just to avoid a position that they're in. So. I do want to remind everyone, there's so many things behind the scenes. You got all these derivatives. You got phase six as impacting the market. People, before we, before we, I know we want to, you know, the, the price is going down, price is going down, price is going down. Remember what I've always said. I mean, remember this. I made a video way back. I'm gonna say I don't know August. I don't know was it August? I don't know. It was a. It was two months before Phase Six. I said, listen. I I watched Bigums. Okay, I understood what he was telling us because, like I said, sometimes I just click on his videos, and I just sit back, smoke one, and just listen to what he got to say. And man, it all makes fucking sense. Phase six was not an overnight thing. I knew from jump that they're going to have to pay every day for a crime that they fucking do. And that's what's fucking happening. That's the only thing that changes. That's the only thing that changes. Every other shit, synthetics, dark pool, derivative, everything else can still shape. But they have to pay for this shit. Now, look at everything that's happening, right? You know... Credit Suisse trying to sell fucking skyscrapers they can't sell. Korea done backed out of the shit. You got, you know, Bank of America losing another one point whatever billion dollars. You know what I'm saying? It's getting fucking risky, but they still will find a way to make it happen. Right? Now, I understand what people are saying with DRS. I totally understand. However... Okay. Just remember, not financial advice. You know, no one knows. Okay, that selling process is a little sketchy. Okay, the selling process is just a bit sketchy. Now, for those who understand, man, fuck. You know, some fucking shit behind the scenes could just fucking flip that shit and flip this shit, and it's an easy get. Get your bag and fucking go. That's what I'm on. Okay? If you decide to DRS your shares, that's great. That's cool. You don't even have to DRS all your shares. You could just get a separate... Like, like this, Here's why I was saying, I was like, listen. Don't blame this entire play on a few YouTubers, influencer YouTubers. When I mean influencer, that I mean they have something to sell you at the end of the, the fucking day. But the influencers, okay, they quit their jobs hoping to run on this shit. Once we got smarter and wiser, we didn't fucking need them anymore. Okay? The influencers, okay? Now, the influencer's job is just to profit. Just understand that. So, I get it. I'm not trying to knock your hustle, but don't lie to me, or else I ain't gonna spend no bread with you. It's just simple. It's just simple. 
Simple, simple street 101. So once these influencers, you know, once everybody figured out the influencer did not know everything that was going on with the play, okay, that's when the shift changed. How do how do how do Phil? What are you talking about? Listen, I'ma just speak specifically. Fucking cores. Okay. I listened to this motherfucker. I knew at some point he didn't know what the fuck was going on. So I said, okay. I don't really fuck with this motherfucker like that. And then I hear Biggums. Now I know Twitter has Froggy and, and Tara and all y'all fighting and shit. And Tony, I see all y'all. Listen. Biggums has made aware. That he knows a lot of shit. I knew back when fucking CODIS came in, okay? Like, I understood. I understood. Because not only does he show you the data, you can look it up your fucking self. You can see everything that's attached to everything. So, based on that, you know... I was like, okay, I get it. My guy here knows what the fuck he's talking about. A matter of fact, I recommend still, till this day, follow AMC Biggums. He's going to be not only passionate enough, but also know some of the information. Now, uh, as far as everybody else, I appreciate everybody else that's making videos, showing that they're also listening to fucking Biggums, showing that they're also listening to each other and also coming together as one and being a force. I do appreciate that. Like I said, there are certain individuals who are by themselves, who are independents, who only seek to influence and seek your dollars. Meanwhile, the rest of us, we're just understanding the... like. At this point, you should just be studying what's going on with the market and just understanding how everything is attached to each other. Because if you're not doing that, if you're just watching the line, you're going to be upset. You're going to say, hey, CEO, what the fuck going on, bro? What's going on? The CEO, I'm going to be honest, the CEO is expecting apes to do their due diligence. The CEO is expecting us to do that. Now, this is why the CEO is speaking in a certain way and typing certain things on Twitter. Okay? Now, yes, the CEO should be able to just do better. I trust me. I get it. I get it, man. <laughs> and I feel all of you. I feel all of you right now. Trust me. Every day I'm like... I wish he could just go out there and just handle business. But there was a time where I do remember him either tweeting it or saying it or something. He did mention, hey, I've called, you know, about, you know, called I called the SEC about, you know, the FTDs under AMC. He didn't get an answer. So now you know where eight comes from. So trust me. And you don't have to trust me, not financial advice. But in my mind, there's something going on. He knows, and he's probably doing something real slick and real slick with it. I don't know. Something tell me, and it may not be like, you know, what you may think I'm thinking of. I'm thinking, man, maybe this guy really is playing chess. Because even the top tier market, uh, I would say, investors, you know, institutional investors that, you know, just frequent on Twitter or frequent anywhere else. Oh, be quiet. I know. I'm pretty. But. Hush. But like I said, uh, you know, this is a situation that's like 
shocking everybody, including my dogs. Shut your mouth. Yeah, but this is crazy, right? So, I'm just, I'm just here to tell you, all of you are not at fault for how you're feeling. But also understand, if you're going to question the CEO, you need to also question banks. Look at everything that they're doing. Look at, like I knew from jump that phase six is going to cause them to make more money or try to make more money. Look at what they're doing. They're trying to sell black people houses, right? Look at what they're doing. Look at what Citibank. Are you watching what the banks are doing? I'm watching every single is the bank. That's what I'm doing. I'm watching every single is the bank and what they're trying to do to make money to afford phase six. And how are they going to sustain without going bankrupt? That's what the fuck I'm watching. And oh, I see it. Citigroup. Uh, oh, yeah, we offer houses too. Yeah, what y'all need? Oh, yeah, what's up? What? Come and get these mortgage backed securities. Come and get them. Yeah, yeah, we haven't dealt with them. Come, please, please come and get them so we can put them on you. They, they like, come on. They're holding fucking concerts. They're holding concerts. <laughs> like, trying to make money. They bought Mariah Carey. They bought, like, some other motherfuckers. Like, they bought, they, they're holding concerts to make money. They're, hold, they're even holding, like, another, like, I see, like, the promo ads they're doing. They're, they're doing everything to make money to afford phase six. But when you, what do you do, Bank of America, when you keep losing fucking money? You've lost so much money this year. I'm expecting y'all to be, like, one of the first people to go. Besides Credit Suisse, I mean, I'm just, like, looking at you motherfuckers. You know? So, keep in mind, these banks keep taking money, taking money, taking money, taking money. And shorten us, and shorten us, and shorten us, and shorten It's all fucking connected. While you're watching the line, that's where the money, that's where, they, that's how they're doing it. That's how they're doing it. They're able to just get that shit, right? So what phase six is doing, it's only a matter of time. Some people say, where is your phase six? Where is phase six? I don't I don't feel it. Well, it's, 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 think of it like this. Phase six is like the disease that you didn't take care of. It was on you. You didn't go to the doctor. Now it's going to fucking imp imp impede on your fucking doom because the more they keep trying to make money, the, the longer they're able to keep this crime up. So don't go to their concerts. Don't help them. Get out the is the banks. I mean, that's what Biggums has been saying. Get out of the banks. Go where your money's safe. Big banks is going to fucking rob. Like, they rob it to, to keep alive and say, hey, we can protect. Like, fuck with us and we'll protect your money. Motherfucker, you steal. That's common sense. And what, like, think about it. While AMC and Ape is going down, you know, I know uh, like the media and, and the short sellers and the stock bashers are going to say, oh, yeah, you guys are a cult. Fuck that. I'm buying popcorn. Fuck that. I'm going to the movies. I bought two Terrifier tickets and I was the only one that showed up. So <laughs> I love the fucking movies. I review movies. I make movies. Matter of fact. I got my own little short uh, skit that I did with my kids. I'm going to upload probably tomorrow. So I'll upload it tomorrow in the morning and give everybody a funny laugh. But people, show that you're buying mega bags. Show that you're going to the movies. Show that you're caring about the fundamentals. Show that you'll do it. I made a song. I made, I bought mega bags. I jumped for joy for fucking mega bags. Let's go. Get the fundamentals going. Are you an investor? Are you a shareholder? Or are you just someone that's holding the shares? Now, I'm a shareholder. I'm a whole, I'm I'm a I'm I'm a owner of my shares. So that means I want to see good from my company. I have good intentions for my company. I want to survive with this company. Matter of fact, every time I want to get out the house, <laughs> I'm having a good time with my company. So, I don't know. So, but that's for me. And it doesn't have to be for you. It could be for anybody. But I'm sorry for making this video so long, but I just wanted to let you guys know, man, you know, I know we're all fighting and I know we're all stressing. I'm just, I'm, I'm as patient as could be. And if, you know, I don't, you know, another thing, please, if you're gonna do space calls and all of that, please, just make sure everybody's getting accurate information. And that's all I'm going to say about that. And 
Did the shorts cover? No? Fuck we talking about?